Good morning, gentlemen. It's uh, time for the United States to finally get into the war. It's turn four, and um, here's a zoomed-in picture of the great big magnetic mess I always send. So let's go ahead and get that on out of our way. And the code word is Bordeaux. We're buying a carrier with a fighter, uh, four men, three tanks, three uh, transports. Everything is going on uh, the European side of the board, with the exception of one man that I'm just going to place now. So uh, that'll go to Western United States. Anyway, we're moving up here. We're doing three surface ship shots, a battleship, two cruisers. We're taking a mechanized via transport so that it qualifies as an amphibious assault. We're just looking to kill you. Might not win, but... Soften your numbers up a little bit. Just make you pay for your vandalism. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on that. We only have that one battle. Uh, the other two are in Gibraltar and Morocco. And they are unoccupied, so they are uncontested. So, let's see here. Take some dice out of the salt. Um, the strategic bomber, by the way, is in on this attack as well, so it could be an expensive loss for me, but it is what it is. So, we're going to have two cruiser shots at three or less. There's one hit. Is this zoomed in correctly? Yeah, that works. Uh, one battleship, that's two hits. One strategic bomber, that's three hits. And then one mechanized, so three hits on you. You have four to defend. Uh, here's three of them. Two hits, that's unfortunate. There's four, so you got two hits. The only land units that you're able to kill are my strat and my um, and my mech. So you lost three guys. You have one man remaining in Alaska. His lifespan is brief, I can assure you. Uh, as is this vandalism. Anyway, that's done, and let's go ahead and uh, go over everything we did. Basically, we brought a carrier up here with two fighters. Uh, that transport shipped in the mech. There is the three surface ships that took place in the bombardment. And in addition, we brought in a destroyer. We are moving two AA guns up from Los Angeles. We took two mechs from Central United States, put them in Western Canada. We landed a fighter from Hawaii, a fighter here from Hawaii. This transport is doing nothing. It's staying right where it is. The third fighter that was land-based in Hawaii has moved over to the Western United States, where it will... Um, land on the new carrier that is being placed in 101 and we'll do that in a minute we're also placing three men in eastern United States three tanks in eastern United States and let's see oh yeah I'm gonna need bigger magnets for those bad boys anyway um, three transports as well one two three and so three tanks um, there is something else to do, however, I believe, and that's just explain this mess. So just bear with me one second. Two more magnets and we'll be all set. Uh, la, 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 la. So let's see. There's one. And there's two. The problem with these metal tanks is that they're so heavy that you have to... Um, you got to put the big magnets on there or they fall off the board. It ain't no good. So that's what we got. We got three tanks, one AA gun, three men, one carrier with two fighters on it, and three transports out to sea. We came into Gibraltar. We landed three men, one AA piece, one artillery, and one mech in Gibraltar. And in Morocco, we put one infantry and one tank. We took the fifth transport down to Brazil, dropped off a infantry and a mech so there's now three infantry in addition to that that's pretty simple that's it for the u.s we're in the war finally uh let's see if we can't turn this bludgeoning around all right four minutes and 24 seconds again the code word was bordeaux good morning gentlemen